Hi, this is Amar from Developer Relations at BlackBerry. Welcome to my video series on sharing builds of your BlackBerry 10 native application with others. Your application is installed to a BlackBerry 10 device or simulator through a bar file. A bar file is simply a file that packages the executable of the application with its assets. If signed, it is also the file you actually upload to BlackBerry World when you are ready for publishing. Bar files are created in an unsigned state by default and are only good for sharing with others for deployment on their BlackBerry 10 devices under certain conditions. If those conditions aren't met, unsigned bar files are considered by the device as unauthorized and are blocked by the operating system. For the operating system of the device to allow an unsigned bar file to be installed to the device, the device needs to have a valid debug token installed that has the same author information as the unsigned application bar file. And the unsigned application bar file needs to be packaged in development mode. In part one of this video series, I will guide you as the author of the app through the steps you need to follow to create both a debug token for the target devices and an unsigned bar file that is packaged in development mode. In the second video of this video series, I will guide the others you are sharing your build with through the steps they need to follow to deploy those two bar files onto their BlackBerry 10 devices. Before we begin, there are two prerequisite steps you need to ensure are done before you continue watching. First, since the debug token is created for specific device pins, you need to obtain the device pins of all target devices or the devices that the application bar file is intended to get deployed to. Second, you as the author of the app need to have a signing account and to set up your native environment for signing. If you haven't done so already and need help in getting yourself set up as a BlackBerry 10 application author, then please check out this video tutorial under the following title. To retrieve the pin of a BlackBerry 10 device, simply swipe down the top bezel, launch the settings app, go to about and select hardware. There you can find and record the device pin. Now let me show you how to create a debug token for the target devices that is associated with your author information. As mentioned earlier, a debug token created using your signing account is simply a bar file that contains your author information and that if installed on a BlackBerry 10 device will allow an unsigned bar file of your application to be installed on that device without being blocked by the operating system. Debug tokens are valid for 30 days from creation date so you only need to perform this step once every so often. You can create a debug token either using the IDE or using the native command line tools. To create a debug token using the IDE on a Windows machine, go to the Window menu. Then go to Preferences. There, go to BlackBerry and select to open the Signing dialog. In the BlackBerry Signing dialog, under the Debug Token section, click Create. This will take you to another dialog where you need to specify the location to save the debug token and the device pins the debug token is intended for. Once you enter all device pins, click OK. Next, you will be asked to enter your CSK password. Finally, retrieve the created debug token from the specified location. Now let me show you how you can perform these same steps using the native command line tools. To create a debug token, we will use the debug token request tool. Once again, before you can start using any of the native command line tools in a command line window, you need to set the environment variables. In Windows, open the start menu and type CMD in the search box. Right click the CMD file and click run as administrator. When the command window opens, change directory to where you have the BlackBerry 10 NDK installed. That's usually under the C drive in the BBNDK folder. Now, run the BBNDK-env.bav file of the native SDK release you want to use. Next, 
change the directory to where you have your signing certificate or the author.p12 file located. Finally, type and run the following command. blackberry-debug-token-request-store-pass Then enter your key store password, which is the password associated with your developer certificate or author.p12 file. Next, for each of the devices this debug token is going to be installed to, type dash device pin and then specify the device pin. Finally, choose a file name for the debug token and add the dot bar extension. Here, you can also specify a location to save the file if different from your current location. You will know the operation was successful when you see this displayed info message indicating that a debug token has been created. Now you can retrieve the debug token bar file from the specified location. Now let me show you how to create an unsigned bar file in development mode and ensure that this bar file of your application is packaged with the same author information associated with the debug token bar file we just created. You can do so either using the IDE or using the command line tools. Let me first show you how to do so using the IDE. The very first step is to set the author information in the bar-descriptor.xml file of your application. To do so, in the Project Explorer in the IDE, open your project directory and open the bar-descriptor.xml file. In the editor window, select the general tab and under the author information, click the set from debug token button. Next, in the Project Explorer in the IDE, right-click on the project and click Export. Under BlackBerry, click to export as release build and click Next. Once you're done, you will be taken to a second dialog. There, make sure to click the Build Before Export option and select a location to save the bar file. Finally, click Next. In the Next dialog, in the Digital Signature tab, Make sure the Enable Digital Signing checkbox is unchecked. Then go to the Advanced tab. In the Extra Packaging options write Dash Dev Mode. This will ensure that the unsigned bar file will be created in development mode. Otherwise, it is no good for sharing. Now go to the location you specified and retrieve the created application bar file. Now, let me show you how to package your application into an unsigned bar file in development mode using the command line tools. Make sure, however, before you begin, that the team has specified the correct author information in the bar-descriptor.xml file from the debug token and has compiled the project into binaries in device release mode. This will ensure that the ARM folder of the project is created together with all the files referenced in the bar-descriptor.xml file. In the same command window where we created the debug token, change directory to the project's main directory. If you are using a new window, don't forget to set your environment variables of the native SDK as I showed previously. This is a step you need to follow for every new command line window where you intend to use any of the BlackBerry 10 native command line tools. Now we are going to use the native packager tool to package the app. Type and run the following command. blackberry-native-packager-configuration-device-release-package then specify the application .bar file name including its location, then specify the location of your bar-descriptor.xml file, then finally type dash dev mode to ensure your bar file is created in development mode. You will know the operation was successful when you see this message displayed acknowledging that the package has been created under the specified bar file name. Now you can retrieve the bar file from the project's main directory. At this point, for you as the author of the app to complete your part, simply send the two bar files we just created to your testers, the debug token bar file and the unsigned application bar file, and refer them to the second part of this video series, where I will show how to deploy those two files to a target BlackBerry 10 device.
That brings us to the end of part one of this video series. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section below, or drop me a tweet at Samar Abdel Sayed. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more BlackBerry developer videos. See you again soon.